All right, another day, another video here in Stockholm. Today we are in the suburb of Hegvik. About, I'm not sure how long it takes, but about 20 minutes, 25 minutes by train from Central Station. Um, so not with the subway, but with the train. Officially, it's actually not a suburb. It's actually located in a different city called Solentuna, which is kind of part of Stockholm, but it's a separate city. Um, I actually live in Solentuna myself, but not in Hegvik. Um, so this area I don't know so well. So let's explore. It's a beautiful day. It's actually 23 degrees. It's full summer again, suddenly. And this area called Hegvik Centrum I don't think it's so much center about it because I don't see a single human being on this side and just a few on this side. So let's have a look. Second hand clothes. A few small shops here. And the lunch place. Haggis, it's called. Since 1995. Oh, that's nice. Hey, hey! <laughs> I know you can't. Now the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. He was like, "Oh, is it going to be on Facebook?" I was like, "No, YouTube." No idea if he actually knows what YouTube is, but all good fun. Oh, I'm sweating. I'm wearing a sweater. That was not a good idea. It's definitely t-shirt weather today. That's the thing in Sweden in September. It's very hard to predict the weather. Can be 12 degrees or 25 degrees. Quite nice here. Well, let's go this way. Tiniest gardens ever. Still nice, you can sit outside, have a coffee. I think I sometimes gave the impressions in my videos that most Swedish people live in apartments. Uh, they don't, actually. Um, Especially outside of Stockholm, or almost everyone, like families, live in a house. Every middle class family lives in a house. Um, and in the suburbs, it's kind of a similar thing. Um, but because I usually film, you know, in the city center, it's mainly apartments. But I'll try to show a few more residential areas um, where people live in the big villas. So that should be nice as well to see that side.
A lot of teenagers here, so I guess it's like a school. Like high school, whatever. Yeah, to the best school on it's called. Across the street. I think this area is actually dedicated for walking with your dog. They have usually special areas where the dogs can run and poo <laughs> without any limitations because you know normally I don't know how it is in your country but in Sweden you're supposed to pick up the poo with a little plastic bag. So now we're walking back to Solentuna. Um, I'm actually walking back home, to be honest with you, because I live on that side. It's probably the first time, no, the second time I'm walking to my walk. So no train today or no bus. Nice and relaxed. To pick up the children from school, so I was like, Yeah, let's take a little detour and explore my own city, Solentuna, a little bit. Oh, that's like a designer house, as it looks, looks like a shoebox. Not a big fan of those modern houses myself. I prefer the more classic wooden houses. Yeah, like this for example. Brand new school up there. Uh, these houses are really like, look so cool. The top all in different colors, but the same style. As I said before, I want to show more housing areas with different styles instead of just apartment blocks it depends i don't know what you guys want to see let me know if you think oh let's stick to the city center i'll do that but i like to 
show you guys the full spectrum of different areas in Stockholm maybe even the countryside let's see the only problem with the countryside is that it takes me way longer to get there I only have limited time to to film all these videos during the day while the kids are at school so yeah I cannot go too far um, but sometimes you know like in the summer and maybe in holidays I go on trips and then I can do more like different cities and things like that clear blue sky love it like in Sweden the winter is very long and dark and snowy so we gotta appreciate the last rays of sunshine we get for the year because when it gets October November uh, you, you will find out when you follow my channel all my walks will be in the dark because not October, November, actually December, like halfway December, it gets dark at two o'clock, 2.30 in the afternoon. So that means that you're basically having lunch and it gets dark while eating lunch. So yeah, not everyone can handle that. It's a little depressing to some people. I'm quite used to it, it's okay. But I guess when you walk in, uh, when you work inside and you don't see the sun for weeks and months at a time, yeah, it can get a bit depressing. That's, I would say, the biggest downside of living in the north. The quality of life is amazing. It's probably better than anywhere. But the darkness, yeah, that's a bit of an issue. Oh, there's a nice little cute house is also here. Like they're all attached houses. Oh, dog service. Walking with the dogs. That's nice. <laughs> little shop of course hairdresser again they're everywhere well that's the thing everyone has to cut their hair doesn't matter if it's covid or crisis or whatever economical crisis they always exist so i guess they're they survive usually at least in Sweden, because we've never had a lockdown. I, I guess if you have a lockdown for months and months and you can open your shop, different story, but...
Oh, nice a little windmill over there. Maybe a Dutch guy. Hey. Hey. We actually get quite a bit of uh, wildlife here in Southern Tuna. We got like, um, sometimes we get deers, a lot of hares, and we even have, I think what you call it, lynx. Lujud, I think it's called in Swedish, lynx in English. Let me know if that's correct, but yeah, we get those as well here in the suburbs. I was really surprising because, you know, I'm, I'm from Holland, I'm a Dutch guy. We have not, none of those things. Well, we do kind of, but not where I'm from. So when I was first like in the morning, walking here, bringing the kids to school, and I saw a deer here, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Sweden, that's right, that's for sure. Nice, massive garden. A lot of apple trees he has. Nice. Like the houses over there, those are the most exclusive ones because they have the view on the lake. But just behind it, you have the um, the lake, and um, yeah, they got the cool view. So those are the most expensive ones. When I started my channel, I actually did a view, um, a walk with the view on the lake. If you go all the way back to my channel, very first video. You see the, um, the video from Solentuna, that's how it all started. 200 walks ago. All right, so we are almost at the school of my children. So I will stop here. And um, I hope you enjoyed this little walk from Hagwijk to Solentuna. See you tomorrow on walk 202.